Good morning, my beautiful friends of YouTube. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm coming with the most, the video I want just to do, and I want to do again and again and again and again and again, because I love my GPs. <laughs> you know, some of these fragrances at some point were very, very expensive, and they were top of the line, okay? Um, and they're still going. And at some point, I set up a little goal of myself that I'm going to buy perfumes under $20. They are just fabulous. And I mission accomplished. I have many cheapies that are just fabulous, okay? And I want to talk to you about 10 of them for now, maybe 11, and let you know, hey, this is a great thing to do. Just check them out. Some of them smell better than expensive perfumes. No jokes, all jokes aside. So let's start with the queen. Who's the queen? Of fragrances elizabeth taylor yes i'm not going to talk about white diamonds i do love white diamonds but she do have a lot of flankers they are just to die for one of my favorites is violet eyes and i found one in forever lux called lustre this is the amber girl i am the amber lover and so when i saw the notes This is beautiful. You believe it is 16 bucks? 16 something on Forever Lux. This is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And remember ladies, Elizabeth Taylor is number one, White Diamonds is number one perfume that have been sold all over the world. It's still, it's still the number one record breaker of all fragrances in the world. Yes. You, if you are very young, I'm going to my 50s, you might say I smell like my grandmama. This smells completely different, but it smells beautiful. So, not because the fragrance is old, that doesn't mean it doesn't smell good. There are a lot of brand new fragrances that smell horror, horror. But there are some good ones, of course. But this for $16, this is just absolutely stunning. White Diamonds Lustre by Elizabeth Taylor. This is the other toilet and it's to die for. It's beautiful. If you like florals, if you like um, amber, there's a lot of beautiful notes in here. I'm not gonna go through the notes because otherwise we're gonna make a long, long, long video and you guys are gonna get bored. Another lady that is a star, my darling Rihanna. Rihanna is the girl. You know, Jeremy Fragrance is always talking about one that I've been trying to get used to it. And I, and I, I have, I have in a way, but he never talked about this one. Riri. I bought Crush. I haven't opened the box. This is beautiful. It's just roaming it, believe it or not. <laughs> But this fragrance, you can wear it for work. You can wear it for a date out. You can wear it for a beautiful dinner. This is stunning. Riri is stunning. And if you like sweet fragrances with florals, listen, this is just stunning. This is stunning. This is your $20 or $25 worth worth and you're never gonna regret it. I'm serious. If you might not have my taste, um, I have a very, ex you know, I have an extensive type of taste. I do, I do like my florals. I do like my, my fruity fragrances. I do like some gourmand, and I do like uh, those sweet fragrances. They are just to die for. Um, $20. Go for it. Riri by Rihanna. The best. Okay. Now let's talk about guests. Um, there are two that I love very much. And it's these two right here. This one, actually, if you search it in, in Fragrantica, it's going to say guests by guests. Right? I don't know if maybe it was the first fragrance they had. It's a beautiful bottle. Look how beautiful it is. 
It's a funny model. My daughter broke when she was little. She used to go through the aisles when she's mad and she wants something and she'll drop everything. Like she'll take her hand when she's in the stroller and drop everything. And she dropped this one and the cap broke. And I say to the gentleman, I'll pay for it, I'll pay for it. And I took it home without the cap, finished it off. Then another day I was there and I saw, I guess, a gold one. Ha! Huh. This is to die for. This is such a beautiful fragrance. I mean, they both are, but you're gonna smell elegant, you're gonna smell sophisticated, you're gonna smell sexy. Sorry to say the word, but you are. And why not for $20? Why not for $20? This is worth, worth their money. Now, Talking about the 80s, you know, I do have a video prepared for the 80s, my fragrances of the 80s and my fragrances of the 90s. But, you know, Calvin Klein was the man. Uh, actually, um, a beautiful uh, YouTuber, her name is, Ver uh, her channel is called Veronica Says. I actually purchased two fragrances from her recommendations this week, uh, a couple of days ago. One of them arrives today. She... It's really, she was talking about Obsession, and Obsession is a strong fragrance, okay? And it used to come like in a little boat. To me, it kind of changed, or maybe my taste changed a little bit, but I do like the amber, so right, um, I, I, I love the fragrance. So when I saw Obsession Night, I said, oh my God, it's gonna be as strong as Obsession, because I do have it. I mean, I'm gonna own it. I'm an 80s, 90s girl, and this was the best of the best. Obsession was like, wow, everybody has to have obsession. And I bought Obsession Night. When I opened it, because I did it as a blind buy, I couldn't believe it. I thought it was going to be a stronger version. I just want to have Obsession Night because it's part of my Calvin Klein collection. But I got shocked. This is so light and airy, and it is such a beautiful floral. It smells floral, but it's, you know, I I want to go through the notes, but I don't want to make that long, 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 long video. I want you guys to go to Fragrantica and check it out. This is way lighter than Obsession. Uh, I think the DNA is a little further than the Obsession. I, I don't think the DNA is all there. It just smells beautiful. And for $20, ladies, come on. You want to smell good. $20 is the thing. Uh, and you can find it probably even, you know, if it's in clearance, you can find it. And I'm going to show you one. You're going to be shocked that I paid $20. This is also from Calvin Klein. It's called Sheer Beauty. I bought this one with my best friend. I think this is the one that has a lot of notes. I'm not sure. This smells beautiful. This is like a floral. This, this is light, but this is elegant. And then it starts changing. You know, it starts changing and it's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Sheer Beauty by Calvin Klein. It would not disappoint. And that is the flanker of Beauty. So Beauty was a little, it was $20 for less, right? This one only has three notes. To be honest with you, it has one opening note, the, mid, the, the middle note, and the, and the base note. But this is just beautiful. That's why it's called beauty. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Calvin Klein beauty. Your money's worth. And talking about Calvin Klein, Euphoria was the thing of the uh, 2000s. It broke records. Considered one of the most sexy fragrances. Um, I had it. My brother-in-law who passed away gave it to me. I have the empty bottle because... It was so beautiful that he did that. He bought it for his wife and he brought it for me. We used, he used to live with me here. Uh, his wife lived in Egypt and he used to always send her different kinds of perfumes. And I found deep euphoria, deep euphoria. Ladies, best $20 you can spend in your life. I mean, I don't know if online you will find it a little bit more. I know I got this at Berlin in the fact. Well, it's not called Burlington Co. Factory anymore. It's called Burlington. And boy, was I happy when I smelled this at home. I was head over heels. I was like, oh my goodness. 
I thought it's gonna smell stronger than Euphoria, right? I thought it's gonna be like a deeper version, but it just has a twist. It has a twist. It has a beautiful, elegant, classy. Uh, I smell delicious. Yep, deep Euphoria. It's like a dark purple bottle. Go for it. Now, talking about uh, chippies, um, Sofia Belgara one of the most beautiful women, Spanish women. I'm just gonna show you two, but I'm gonna talk about one. So they consider Sofia to smell like Coco Mambasal by Chanel, which it smells floral to me, but it doesn't necessarily smell exactly right. But we're not talking about Sofia, we're talking about love. So this is Love by Sofia Belgara. Look how beautiful the details this you know this costs a lot to make a bottle like this it really it really says something about this bottle but my girlfriend my my girlfriend chris um i call her chris like the chris like the kardashians she hates it <laughs> she hates it because her, her name is beautiful but um i call her chris she told me bren try uh that's my nickname by the way bren uh try and and spray your black opium and spray love is said to be that it smells just like black opium at the beginning i thought uh-uh uh-uh no 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 we fight we fight about fragrances and i'm like are you crazy this does smell nothing like it when the day went by i kept smelling of course this one was a lighter you know opium was going strong and changing in my hand with the, you know, with the uh, gourmand type of coffee. Smells good, I love opium, black opium. Um, and this one was light, but it started to change and it started to smell like it, just in a lighter way. And I called her back. I said, you, you, you always right. It is starting to smell like it. And so Love by Sofia Vergara, $20, beautiful fragrance. Um, if you don't like black opium, it really doesn't smell exactly like black opium. It's similar, but it smells beautiful for $20. Come on. Why are you going to complain about that? And now all of you are going to laugh about me. Probably those, you know, all of you young ladies who know anything about this lady. Um, um, Jordache jeans. You ever, you ever heard about Jordache jeans? That's Gloria Vanderbilt. So Gloria Vanderbilt is, was the heiress to the railroad tycoon. Uh, you know, I'm a history freak. This girl inherited, she was wealthy. Wealth. She inherited wealth. Um, and unfortunately, from a battle, custody battle, her aunt, and then she married young in order to be free from this aunt. Uh, her husband stole her money and, you know, she had very, a lot of people who used her and she built herself with George Ash and she built herself with Vanderbilt, Gloria Vanderbilt fragrance. So for those of you who I probably smell it in your grandma. You know, I myself, the first time I got paid from taking care of some um, kids and my mom used to clean their house. Um, like I said, I um, I went to buy me a fragrance and I wanted Gloria Vanderbilt, but I couldn't afford it. So I bought Exclamation from Revlon. Gloria Vanderbilt is a beautiful floral fragrance. It's different. It's, you know, when you smell it, you know that's Gloria Vanderbilt. And it's not loud. It's not in your face. It's not like I want to throw up. You're so disgustingly uh, smelling like grandma. You know, and her son committed suicide. This is why I'm always, uh, I want to always bring a mental health uh, awareness. You know, for those of you, if you know anybody who's depressed, give them a call, check that, check out on them. Her son committed suicide on her face and her other son is Anderson, Anderson Cooper, the anchor for CNN. And she never met her grandson. 
and she was a wonderful artist who believed in love, believed in love, but was always waiting for that boat with that man, with that rose, who was going to propose to her and have a love, love story. So I love Gloria, just, I love Gloria, her, the person, the wonderful person, and I love her fragrance. And there's a couple of them that I'm gonna get my hands on. And so I leave you with that. So that will be 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I leave you, no, 11, actually. I leave you with those, and I'm going to prepare you. My 80s, you know, I couldn't afford fragrances that were very expensive at the 80s. I was just a very young teenager. At the 90s, I already had a job at a car dealer, a Jaguar car dealer, and to me, I was making so much money. So I used to buy my fragrances and smelling good was part of it. And of course, Calvin Klein was the man. Calvin Klein was the man at that time and it's still going. Ladies, I mean, the underwears and all these clothing is on style, these sweatsuits, these nice stuff, you know. Um, I mean, it's still going strong. And I wanna talk about my flankers and I wanna talk about that. And I also wanna bring you more chippies. I have a lot of chippies that I love, that they smell beautiful. Uh, search the notes for some of these. I love you all. Let's do a prayer for those um, that are going to be in the path of the storm, um, I mean the hurricane and praying hard for them for help to reach them and hopefully that they will be well and no nothing no fatalities hopefully that will be and praying for our country with what's happening in Afghanistan that our fellow Americans and our friends will be able to leave praying for COVID and um, I'll leave you with that blessings to you all and always pray. And if you see someone with um, depression, have compassion, give them a call, send them a card, send them a little note or text message. I love you, you mean so much to me. Thank you so much for watching my chippies. Bye-bye.